grace and peace, brothers, sisters, blessings, blessings. I'm going to read from one verse, one verse. Hebrews 12, verse 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Mm. Looking diligently, lest any man fail. How can you best how can you best minimize failures in life? In a, a, a for example, a test, a test, a math test, a science test, a history test. You must diligently study. Diligently look to, to experts, to tutors, to help to best pass the test. Diligently. How, you, how do you get a body you want? A particular level of endurance. You must diligently exercise. Diligently put that work in to eat right. How do you pass the test that come with marriage? Uh oh With a business. Managing a home. Children. You must diligently study. You must diligently put the work in. You must diligently improve your skills improve your abilities because if you don't look diligently guess, guess what you, you will fail fail many people are failing in life because they're not looking diligently to the things that need to be looked at they're not looking diligently to the word of god they're looking diligently to the filth of the world. Come on. The filth, the mess of the world, the distractions, what other people are doing, and most of the world is doing the wrong thing. What are we looking at diligently? Come on. That's what we're failing. Lest any root of bitterness so what are roots? What are what are roots? You plant a seed, roots, roots spring forth. You, you plant a seed in the ground, right? Do roots spring forth on the surface that you can see? No. Roots are underneath the surface. And a lot of people, you look at them, they smile, they look good, they, look, they got money, they got clothes, they got they look sharp. But you don't know what's going on under the surface. We don't, we don't know. As the Bible says, man looks on the outward appearance, the surface, but God knows what's really going on underneath the surface, at the heart, or the mind of a person. Lest any root of bitterness. Why are people bitter? Something on the inside. Why, why are people angry something on the inside? They've allowed certain seeds to take, to, to grow, to germinate within them. Seeds from the screens. Seeds from certain media programs. Seeds from certain um, companionship. Seeds from certain ideas. Implanted from certain environments. Homes. Bitterness. Bitterness. Why do people break up friendships, marriages break apart, people together in a relationship? Why do they break up? It's like your blood sugar levels, right? You need a healthy level of, of blood sugar, right, to, 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 do, to do well, to survive. Also, in relationships, you need sweetness uh -oh. or it will get bitter. You must keep both people must keep pouring the sweetness into each other or they will get bitter. Come on. And they will break up. Bitterness. Why am I angry? Why am I worried? Also? Why? Why? Was the way I was brought up? Certain times it's because the, you, the way your mother was, your daddy was. You pick up on things. And it, and it takes a, 
root builds up in you. Why are you so broke and have issue of money? Maybe growing up, your family ne never talked about money. Money was always a uh, a uh, uh, there was always money arg arguments, stress around money. So you don't really want to talk about it. it. Was always a source of stress rather than a source of 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 strength and and excitement. People have been traumatized and, and molested and, and raped and 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 I and neglected and and beaten up, um, left for dead on the street and and betrayed. Betrayals have happened. Come on. People have been told that they are disgusting and worthless and and not important, not valuable. You, you, you're nothing to me. Words have spoken, been spoken to them that have, have caused a root to take to take up residence within on the inside. That's so why people are committing suicide and people are depressed and worried and angry. Something has come in and take, and take roots and it springs up in our mindsets, our relationships. The way, we, the way we do things, or the way we handle our business, our jobs, our careers. Sometimes the way we view God. Some, somebody did us wrong in the church. Someone, someone, somebody didn't probably represent Christ. And that root of bitterness towards anything gospel, we, we are upset, angry. We've been told the wrong things. Heard the wrong things. Been around the wrong people. Bitterness bringing up. Things, things, you see, things that usually are sweet, should be sweet, are not bitter. You expect a piece of a cookie or a piece of cake or a piece of muffin to be a, a, a piece of apple, peach, pear to be sweet. What happens when it, it's not sweet anymore? It's distasteful. Come on. I, let God bring that sweetness back into your life and get to the root of the issue, why do I think this way? Why do I speak this way? Why do I do the things that I do? Why? Why do women keep going from man to man? Man, woman to woman. Because could it be that they had, they had no emotional intimacy in their home, but from their parents? Daddy wasn't there, mother wasn't there. They were, they were, they were physically there, some, but they were not emotionally there. And sometimes they weren't even there at all. So not to go from one person to the next looking for love because they never got from their parents. The emotion, it was emotional bankruptcy. So that root of bitterness has, has creeped up. Lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you. A lot of people are troubled today. And, and many be defiled. So, you, so now because that, that root has, has sprang up within you, your character is defiled. Your progress is, has become defiled. Your, your speaking has become, become defiled. Your way of thinking has become defiled. And anything you touch is becoming defiled. And if, and if you go around, if you, don't, if you don't get purified, you will defile your kids. You will defile that relationship. You will defile that opportunity. You will mess it up for yourself. You will defile that friendship until you deal with the root that's within you. Root it out. Weed it out. So, get beyond the surface of the issue. Examine yourself. Seek help. Seek a therapist. Talk to a pastor. Get to the root of the of, of the issue. Get help. Get healing. There, is, there are a lot of reasons why like, there's people who are, who are together with somebody and they get they fuss, they upset, they upset, they quarrel without really tapping into each other's past. Because this person was raised that way. And you was, she was raised that way, and they went through certain experiences, 
And you gotta talk about these things. Because those build up roots. And what the roots do, they spread. They, that elongate. So they, they go across different regions or different places. They don't take up only one little area. They, they spread. If you don't take, take care of the root issues in your life or why you are the way you are, why you do what you do, it's going to spread to other areas of your life, not just one, other areas. Because roots spread and impact places. Yes. So, and the roots will take up space, right? The root of bitterness takes up, and then what happens? Instead, of roots are supposed to absorb water. A lot of people are their roots are busy soaking up poison. Poison. And until you finally seek out the source, seek out that source, and cut it off at the source, the water, the, the poison will continue to flood into the roots and come into your mind, come into your soul. Until you finally see this is where the source is at. I'm gonna cut it off at the source so that no more is a poison, now it's water. Now it's water. I'm gonna, stop, I'm, gonna stop, I'm gonna stop letting the poison percolate through the soil and enter into the roots and come into my mind now. No, I'm gonna stop pouring, stop pouring the poison into the soil. Come on. Yeah. Because there are places, there are times where, where you can manually water a, a particular garden or the, the, or, or the trees, the foliage, or, or environments that have already moistened from the, from, the, from, from the moisture, from the rain of the land. Could it be that we have poisoned our lives even more because we are pouring in poison and we are allowing the seed of our lives to be in the wrong environments rather than plucking ourselves out of those environments and going to a more conducive environment for growth. It's like a plant that's, that's, that's in the Amazon rainforest, right? Plants are more likely to thrive there. Why? The environment is conducive to growth. Compare that to the Sahara Desert. Come on. Could you be in a desert place? Why are you staying there? Your marriage is a desert. Your mouth is a desert. Your friendships are, are, are a desert. Your goals are a desert. You're, it's a dry, you're, you're in a dry place. Nothing could grow there. The environment isn't conducive. But if you take yourself out and go to a more like of an Amazon rainforest kind of place, you will thrive. The environment's already hydrated, plus you could, plus you could put in you know, extra water. But if you're in an environment where it's somewhat is, is arid, it's dry, you're trying to pour in the water, well, guess what? It evaporates. Come on. The time we, we, we you gotta stop, stop investing in people in, in, in situations and opportunities and acti activities. Stop pouring in the investment. Stop doing it. It's not working. It's evaporating. There's certain people, it's not working out. Opportunities, places, habits, it's not working out. Certain books you're reading, certain things that you're watching, listening to, you wonder why you're not getting better. You're trying to get better, but you keep pouring into places that, that are deserts. It's evaporating. And why? Why is it not working out with this person? Why is this person not working? Why do I keep having all these bad, bad people in my life? They're the wrong people. Why am, I, why am I not fulfilling my career and the job, our, our, our jobs? It's not for you. Why keep being depressed and, and, and anxious all the time and angry? You keep hearing hearing that gangster rap music. <laughs> you keep watching The Walking Dead TV programs. You keep, going, you keep going to the bars, the clubs. You're trying to deal with the root issue, but you cannot deal with it. You can't deal with it because you keep, you keep, you keep on putting water to dry places. It's us, you're trying to, you're trying to work it out, you're trying to make it work, you're trying to be happy and healthier, 
you're still saying yes to everybody and you're not saying haven't learned to say no yet it's evaporating when you put yourself in a better environment and you pour in you pour you pour in the right the water source hydration hydration source in the right environments things will grow and it will keep on growing so the environment's already there it's in conducive and plus you're adding that nutrition that water the hydration to it that strength to it come on that's what you gotta do so get to the root of the issue make sure you're you're in the right environment get around the, the positive people and then once you do that your investment that you that you make will, will yield dividends it will compound over time it will not be wasted come on thank you lord let's pray thank you father we love you we honor you we praise you help us lord to get to the root the cause there is a cause you may say why why am i like this because there is a cause I pray that we would dig, unravel the layers, unravel the layers, the insecurities, the doubts, the past. Sometimes it's painful to get to, to go to the past, but it's, it's necessary for our healing. I pray we would do this, Lord. No matter what, talk about it. Dive deep. Talk. Ask questions. Read the right books. Go to the right places and unravel and get well. We are so not well. We need to dig deep. And dig deep. And we'll, so we can finally smile. Finally rejoice in life. Finally be free. Once we deal with the baggage from the past. And, and deal with our current baggages. Any, anything that we don't deal with, Lord, from the past will infect our future. Come on. Thank you, Lord. It, Anything we don't deal with, with our past will affect our current, our present, and our future. Thank you, help us, Lord. So we will stop being so bitter. To pluck out the, the roots, the toxic roots, so that good roots, positive roots, beneficial roots can now percolate. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you all. Stay strong. Get to the source of the problem. Get to the root of the problem. Okay? Grace and peace be upon you. In Jesus' name.